Well, Congressman, I want to get your take on this. So Speaker Mike Johnson, who I had really high hopes for this guy, um, kind of letting me down a little bit. Hope he can turn it around. But he met with Biden. Listen to this. There's a lot of, I think, thoughtful and deliberate discussion and debate that's gone into this. It's a complex issue. I don't think now is the time for comprehensive immigration reform because we know how complicated that is. You can't do that quickly. I I'm sorry. Look, they've had the House for a year now, and the it's not time for they – they don't have a plan? Well, it's not like we don't know what to do. It's just the reimposition of the Trump policies. And during the year we've been in power, we passed H.R. 2. And one thing that I, I respect about Speaker Johnson is he hasn't whittled off of that. He hasn't indicated a willingness to take any less than H.R. 2. The mm -hmm. problem is that we were willing to fund the rest of the government without dealing with the border. When I asked caucus goers in Iowa whether or not they thought I should vote for more government funding in the absence of a closed border, they looked at me like I was nuts. Like, why would we ever surrender that leverage when not only is it the political high ground, it's the right thing to do. And it's a totally solvable problem if you institute remain in Mexico, safe third, uh, third country, and the, the Title 42 authorities that right. were working. To keep the flow down. Well, but, but that's the problem is so many people are in that same boat that are in Iowa, myself included, where it's like, OK, great. you got the power of the purse. Let's do this. Let's do some slashing. Let's do some wall building. Let's do all this stuff and not fund a dime until we get at least some of the things that Republicans want. But yet every time did Republicans fall for this, like, hey, let's fund Ukraine and then we'll talk about the border later. Like, why do we keep falling for this? This is like watching a football team that specializes in the punt. Like, occasionally, we have to try to throw a pass. We have to get in the end zone for our people, but it's punt after punt. Uh, look, this border is the issue right now. We have to tackle that, and we have not used the power of the purse effectively. Like, you know what, what legislative vehicle this is coming over on? The entire funding of the government will be an amendment to legislation about duck hunting. Okay, that doesn't strike me as a good way to fund the government or even legislate around duck hunting, for goodness sakes. We got to get back to regular order and we got to get a team in place to do it. Yeah, and the co and continuing resolutions is just kicking it further down the road. Uh, Congressman Matt Gates, appreciate you being here, sir. Thanks, Carl. All right.